Hi, we're Quinn from Curious Volumes. My name is James. Today is Tuesday, which is Tag Tuesday. And I was tagged by my friend Pat at Book Chat with Pat to do the library tag. So this is an interesting tag. It was, um... Let's see, who created it? Uh, this was created by someone named Book Buds. And it has kind of a branch as a fork to it. Because right at the beginning, it asks you, do you go to the library? And if you do, you have to answer different questions than if you don't. I used to go to the library quite frequently, but I haven't been for some time. So I'm going to do the I don't go to the library, I guess, because I, I haven't been for a while. And and this is this is one of the one of the questions. So if you don't go to the library, first question is, why the heck not? Well, I'll tell you, there is not a nearby library. I mean, there, are, there is a, a library in the city that I live in, but there are no branches that are really on my usual route. Now, when I went into the office every day, there was a library that was relatively nearby, um, and I rarely went, although towards the uh, the end of my time going in every day and uh, this would be uh, right at the start of COVID when everyone started working well for when a lot of people started working from home including me um, I had s kind of started to go I, and I was also ramping up my interest in books and reading so um, yeah I, I had started to go to that local library to get some things and then I remembered that I, I will tell you that I, I had the last couple of books I took out of there for many months when they're like, yeah, you don't have to return stuff because of the pandemic or whatever. But um, yeah, so I did go to that uh, little branch of the local library um, a few times. Um, so it, where do I get my books from? Well, I do kind of get them from the library because I use the Libby app to get ebooks and audiobooks. Um, I also get books from little free libraries, from Amazon.com, from Alibris, and especially from Thrift Books, um, which uh, yeah, no doubt you, if you watch BookTube, you're probably bombarded by <laughs> Thrift Books commercials as I am. Um, so, uh, yeah, I also will go to a bookstore occasionally, and when I do, it's usually uh, uh, sort of a, a long browse, and I end up coming home with a lot of stuff. Uh, if I want something specific, I usually go to the thrift books first um, for it. Mm. Have you ever had a library card, and do you have one now? Well, I, I, I guess technically I have a library card for the local system, which uses, you, well, you can get a card, but um, you can also tie it to your driver's license, so that's what I have. Um, and, you know, you do need a library card to use uh, the Libby app. So, yeah, and I mean, uh, ever since I was a little kid in uh, in Queens, New York, yeah, I had a library card, uh, and Long Island had a library card. In New York, uh, you know, I had college library cards, I had library cards for three different boroughs and uh yeah so uh, so i've had lots of library cards when was the last time you stepped foot in the library yes it would, would have been uh probably march of 2020 <laughs> was is that right i think that's actually right yeah um have you ever gone to an event at your library yes I have. I've been to uh, my local library, the main branch. I went to uh, an Indian classical music concert there, which was where I first learned of the existence of a gentleman in my town who became my Indian classical music teacher when I was studying sitar, which I did for a number of years. Uh, I haven't, haven't uh, played in, in some time, and I no longer own a sitar, but I did study it for about mm, five years or so. 
Uh, do you have little free libraries? Yes. Uh, there's one around the corner for me. There's one on the next block. There's one like four blocks away. There's another only four blocks in a different way direction, like five blocks in another direction, like three blocks this way and like five blocks that way. Yeah, so there's a lot of them around. Um, I do put things in them. I do take things from them. I do straighten them up. I do sometimes return and see something that I put in and say, hey, that looks good. And then I realize that I put it there. <laughs> and so I leave it. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's that. Ah, I'm sorry about all the uh, back and forth, but uh, I've got the prompts on my laptop here, as you can see. So that's, uh, that's what I have for the library tag. Then I have to tag some people. Um, I'm going to tag the left-handed reader because um, I know that she does like to go to the libraries. I'm going to tag Alan at Big Hard Books and Class uh, Classics. I don't know if he goes to the libraries. He strikes me as the kind of guy who goes to the libraries. Um, I'm going to tag Randy Ray because I don't know if he goes to the libraries. And I'm going to tag Mr. No One Tags Me Ever, uh, Steve Donahue. Um, because I know he's used to go to libraries, but now people just send him like 17 books a day in the mail. Um, but I'd like to hear about his experience with libraries if he wants to talk about it. Um, if you can, if we can wheedle his way into telling us some stuff about himself. Okay, <laughs> that's all. Thanks for watching.